This is Jeff Crosby with the Central District Fishing Report. Fishing across the district is very good. Largemouth bass at Taylorsville and Harrington Lakes are very good. They've moved shallow into creeks. They can be caught on shallow crankbaits, lipless crankbaits, or spinnerbaits in the backs of these creeks. Additionally, several fish are also being taken on main lake points and cuts on crankbaits and soft plastics. Crappie at Taylorsville and Harrington Lakes are very good. They can be caught around standing timber or fallen trees. And finally, don't forget about your local streams like Elkhorn Creek, South Fork Licking, or Salt Rivers. This is a great time of year to get out and catch a few smallmouth and rock bass. Use small crankbaits and small jigs to catch these fish. Good luck, good fishing, hope to see you on the water. This is Rob Roll with the Northwestern Fishery District with an update on our angling opportunities. Bass at both Rough River and Nolan River Reservoirs are starting to move a little shallower. Anglers are catching them on the steeper rocky banks using crawfish colored plastics. And anglers have been catching a few bass on shad colored crankbaits and shad colored swim baits. On the Ohio River, anglers are still catching catfish and a few striped bass and hybrid striped bass below the dams. Green River, anglers are still catching catfish below the dams, as well as in some of the river bends where there's still a bit deeper water. And as the weather turns a little cooler, bass on Peabody Lakes seem to be a little bit more active too, feeding on shad quite a bit. That's an update from the Northwestern Fishery District. Remember to be safe on the water and wear your life jacket. Well, in the western end of the state, it's fall fishing season. The bass, you can catch them wherever you want to. Out on the ledges, they're still being caught with deep diving crankbaits and, of course, jigs, Carolina rigs, Texas rigs, whatever you prefer out there. Some people like the wacky worm. But this is also the season that I call rocks and docks, fishing the rocky shorelines and docks. So around those docks, you're going to be throwing a spinnerbait and then try a worm when you're throwing around the poles to those docks. Also got crappie biting out in 8 and 12 foot of water, fishing over brush along the ledges with minnows. Not much happening with catfish right now, but that changes every day. Same thing with white bass and stripers on the lake. More current, the better the fishing gets. And same thing in the tailwaters. The better the current, the better the fishing. They are catching a few stripers down there right now. Well, this is Paul Reister, and I hope you find a good day to go fishing.